Well, rub a dub dug, it's time to tug <laughs> on your brain. With hey! your it's masturbate oh. time. <laughs> Woo! Joe Hawk here. We got the lovely Chasta, so Stephen proud. Kirk, Dennis Willis, and Joey Mack. Yep, yep. And this masturbate was brought was you know brought proposed to you was brought to you by when you drink a lot of beer we're trying depends. to keep it nice and tight I know all right that's and, what she said okay go <laughs> keep going keep going so I was scouring the internet and I saw a couple articles and first of all this question for the masturbate is who has the worst fandom because uh, I saw online first of all Mayhem Fest is coming back. And there were complaints about lack of legacy bands, to be honest. Mm. So I'm like, okay, mm. so. And then also, Fallen mm. Reverse came out with an amazing collaboration with Jelly Roll. Yeah. Which, you know, they first put out Ronald a little bit ago, which is a super heavy track. But yeah. then they went super soft with a kind of country song. Yeah. Mixed it with metal. So I'm kind of starting to think that maybe metal fans are the kind of worst fandom. So I kind of wanted to bring this to the table because I'm sure we've all experienced different fandoms from different generations that are kind of tough on their yeah. specific fandom. But yeah. I don't know, what what do you guys have to bring to the table? You know what, yeah. I wasn't gonna go first, but I'm going to. Oh, there we go. <laughs> because of what See? you just said, because yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. I'm gonna like call out our own people here. The metal. The metal community. The metal community. Because they get so pissed off and so angry. Whoa, thank you, yeah. timer. <laughs> they get so pissed off and so angry when anything pushes like towards the outer limits of what they might consider metal. Right. The, it, it's just absolute rage online. And also the f mm. metal family tree makes me laugh. Mm. Like it's like the thrash metal, the doom metal, the black Black metal, the dark like, metal, and you right, can't right, be in right. this metal club because yeah. you're that kind of metal, and it just it's just as goofy. I just don't understand like why people get in literal fights on social media about that kind of stuff. Now I never understood. It's it. funny too because back to Fallen Reverse with yeah. Ronald, they had also Tech Nine mm -hmm. jump in mm -hmm. on that track. Mm -hmm. Amazing lyrics by Tech Nine. Freaking somehow it, it, it fit amazingly with the super heavy like theme of that song. Yeah. No one complained about that. Yeah. That rap was in this incredibly heavy metal song. But hey, you know, Fallen Reverse does a country metal song with Jelly Roll, and they're like, nah, not, not, my, not on my 2024 bingo card. Or yeah, whatever, I know. So. Well, I think that we saw that. Like, if anyone from, especially if anyone in the pop world gets anywhere close to metal, people <laughs> lose their ever loving mind. I'll give an example when Lady Gaga and right. Metallica did their thing on the award show. Oh, yeah. And, and by the way, Lady Gaga is an actual metal fan. Like, she grew up going to metal shows in Jersey and New York City. Like, yeah. that was her wheelhouse. And one of the reasons she's is in music. But people couldn't have it because she's Lady Gaga. Like that, it's just a very limited way of thinking. I, I think. have thoughts about this. Okay, go for it. Okay, so in the fifties, sixties, seventies, and eighties, you had a thing called broadcasting. Yeah. In the nineties <laughs> to now, you have narrow casting. Yeah. Yep. Which means uh, that hip hop's okay. on hip hop and rock's on rock. Now in the night, let's go back a decade. In the eighties, uh, uh, Prince did like a pop album, then a funk album, then a psychedelic album, then a. a, a we did that, mm -hmm. and nobody blinked a freaking eye. No, he's just fucking Prince. Right. You know? Yeah. And because yeah. now we're so separated in our specific lanes, Beyonce decides she wants to go country, and every eye says that we have to stop the fucking world like it's a big thing, and then we have to rip it apart like it's, is she calculating? Is it? The, mm. How is about she just wants enough? to put yeah. on a fucking cowboy hat? And by the way, she's a <laughs> right. Texan. Right. So I'm okay. like, she's from I agree with I'll you. I agree. That, yeah. and, I, and I think it's ingrained in the culture that we just separate ourselves, mm. and so that's mm. what happens to to the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, when you said fandoms, I thought you were going to be non-music specific and talk about things like you know Star Wars and Star Trek and oh, the, all that those shit. Those are also already just way because too. oh that's a whole <laughs> other episode. Whole because other. I, and, and I'll just make one more point about this: yeah. is that fans are great. Fans are awesome. There's only one thing uh, worse than not having fans. And that's having fans. <laughs> yeah. Because I, maybe we true. could all just decide to enjoy a thing. Or yeah. if you don't like it, move along. Well, well just like move just like along. back in the day, walk this right. way. Aerosmith and right. Run DMC. Oh, it, rubbed, an it rubbed rock fans the wrong yeah, way. Right. It rubbed yeah. rap fans the wrong way. It, it was just history. like, but it yeah, then it made history. history. And exactly. Right. Another good example, <laughs> Jay-Z and Linkin Park with oh, Encore yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, uh, Numb. Like, yeah. It was an amazing, like, you know, Granted, it was a uh, you know a certain radio station that won't return my emails. Uh, <laughs> most little there's no humans there. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Most, most about that. Sorry. 
No, Did that I is true. <laughs> that is true. That's a whole other discussion. Yeah, yeah, that's a debate we won't be having no, on here. No, they, they mentioned, like, you know, remember when Jay-Z and Linkin Park did their collaboration and the world actually knew, like, world peace because here's rap, new metal, and they enjoyed it because it freaking banged? Yeah. Oh. Yep. I love collaboration. No, I, I, pine, I pine for the old days, you know, because we got to remember the word fan comes from fanatic. Yes. You know, and, and right. there are okay. people that are just over the top. Mm -hmm. And you're right. I mean, Beyonce was what I was thinking of, too, mm -hmm. because, yeah, you can't go outside of your lane. The beehive. Don't mm -hmm. don't you dare go outside of your lane. Right. If this is what you are, if this is what you do these days, mm -hmm. you you're, you're here. This is narrow casting. Mm -hmm. This isn't broadcast. This is narrow casting. This is this is where you belong. Yeah. This is where you belong. Mm -hmm. That ain't right. Yeah. No. That ain't right. This is no. music, yeah. you know, and it's not rock and roll. It's not metal. It's yep. not country. It's music. Yeah. You know, and and people are expressing themselves, and they should be able to. So when you get these fans, these fucking gatekeepers, yeah. and that's the thing that that mm -hmm. gets me the worst yeah. because there are people that will just sit there and go, "No, you can't because mm -hmm. you're not this or you're not that." No, you love music. You're expressing yourself. Now, granted, there may be a thing, you know, Beyonce may go, you know, I could probably sell a handful of albums if I was to do a country thing. Mm -hmm. sure. Who knows? Or, or Taylor Swift may be calculating, like we were talking today, right. about yeah. when I'm going to release this album, when other people are releasing their albums so I can kick their ass. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a business end of it and everything. But when you get down to it, and that's... And it's always been about business. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's no denying that going all the way back to the 50s and 60s. It's about business. Sure. Yeah. But the music, the artists themselves should be able to do whatever the fuck they want. Mm -hmm. They should be able to say, if I want to do a country album, if I want to do metal, whatever I'm feeling right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And the gatekeepers that get in the way and go, no, you can't. And we don't we won't take that because it's not what we think it should be. Yeah, that's not your place. Dumbass. Yeah. You don't get to tell, <laughs> you don't get to tell an artist how they are going to make their music. That's right. So yeah. why do you want to handcuff an artist? Why? Right. I love the leaders inside genres. I'll, Slash comes up because Demi Lovato, he mm -hmm. played guitar on mm -hmm. Demi Lovato's yeah. song and, and it was freaking awesome. Yep. Like it yeah. was so good. But I was like, I thought, you know, cool move Slash because he's such a mover and shaker in the rock world. Yeah. And for him to put his seal of approval, mm -hmm. his solo of approval mm -hmm. onto Demi's song, I was like, man, that's awesome. We played it on the bone. Cause I was mm -hmm. like, this is really cool. I thought we'd get a lot of crap for it. We actually didn't, no one complained, but um, but it was that's interesting. Yeah. yeah, but I, again, cause I think Slash is such a big person in the uh, rock world. He's he very gets well a pass. respected. Yeah. People yeah. give him a pass. And I'm like, all right, I'll 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 deal with that. But I mean, you know, remember the days when Eddie Van Halen played on friggin' Michael Jackson? Yeah, yeah. sure. Well, of course. So I mean, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say a really controversial thing. Steve and I were just talking about this today. It's like we were talking about when uh, Van Halen brought synthesizers into Jump, mm -hmm. and initially everybody was like shitting their pants over it, like, oh my god, how can they do that? Well, okay, they said the same thing about Kiss as I was made for loving you. Right. And here's my controversial take: <laughs> it is 2024, and those songs are still played regularly. Those are the ones that endured. Yeah. yeah. Those are the ones that skipped the line, skipped the genre, did something else and we still listen to those mm -hmm. and it's the ones that played it safe and stayed in their lanes that have fallen fallen mm -hmm. a bit away because they sound so much like everything yeah. else yeah. right like when yeah. you take an artistic um jump uh, right <laughs> no pun intended sorry Van Halen. <laughs> nice. wow that was brilliant yeah, i didn't even expect wow. <laughs> um, when you you take an artistic leap i think sometimes you really do stand out in the best right. way mm -hmm. and it sticks yeah. around forever well it's just and like on the flip side of Beyonce, when Taylor Swift went to pop from yeah, country, yeah, it's right. like all the country people uh, lost their freaking oh, minds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They were all but done you with it. You know, exactly. Like, it's just like, and she's just like, I'm fine. I'm selling albums just fine on this side. Yeah. So bye-bye. And since we're talking about shitty fans, yeah. how many times have you guys heard the phrase, so-and-so turned their back on country? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what does that even what mean? What does that even yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I, I really don't. Turn in their country card or something? Like, I don't want this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my hat. <laughs> I'm out. Bell buckle. And Beyonce's God. like, Beyonce's like thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kyle. I got, right, I yeah. got this. Yeah, exactly. And it's she like does. There's only so many seats at the table, I guess. So somebody's got to tap out before you tap can jump in. in. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, Absolutely. but is there any certain groups, fans, that you guys are get super irritated about? Like Swifties or Swifties I, I, I just yeah. think for me personally, I know I'm the moderator of this, but I think when it comes to 
changes, especially when it comes to back to the whole metal scene and talk like that. Because you know, back to Mayhem. You know, Mayhem's come is coming back just for a one time show. People bitched about when it was gone and wanted it back, and now here we are, and people but, are bitching now. And now they're bitching about it because. They don't have a lot of legacy bands on right. it. They have a lot of new bands because you know why? Because they are actually doing fucking awesome. Yeah. And they should be in the spotlight of this legendary, you know, back in the day metal, you know, traveling festival. Mm-hmm. You know, they say like, oh yeah, just make it call the Warp Tour 2024. I'm like, no, no, these are still pretty heavy guys. Just, dude, spend your money, which, you know, you got your money to go to the actual shows. Yeah. Who cares? Of it's, that it's legacy bad. act. Yeah. Bring right. yeah. I think we should be happy, you know, anything that comes away or goes away and comes back, yeah. we should be happy for it. Absolutely. Yes. And support new music too. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Yeah. That's what hey, we're all about here. Hey, you do you, you is yeah. what it should come hey, down you know, to. If you're you on do the you. Mayhem we can do a whole show about that. Exactly. Yeah. I know, right? We hey, thought. If you're on the Mayhem Fest that's come back after how many years of hiatus? Yeah. You're fucking metal. Yep. That's there you go. There, yeah. there you go. <laughs> hey. All right. So, hey, we got more Soundwaves TV for you. Of course, you know, If you watch this on YouTube, you saw all this. That's right. But hey, we'll be right back after this. (laughs) 